Here we go. Stand by, please. We're only on six. <laughs> on You're six. Quite good. Yeah, here we go. Welcome to a new episode of the Celebrity Archaeology Podcast, sponsored by the Built on Dreams Media Network and CelebrityArchaeology.com, with your host Adam Skull. If this is the first time listening to the podcast, welcome, and if you're a returning listener, thanks for coming back. Our goal is to help preserve the cultural heritage of celebrity photography from decades past. The on-air sign is lit, so hang out and hear about your favorite film and TV stars. Jerry McCord Van Dyke, born July 27, 1931, was an American actor, musician, and comedian. He was the younger brother of Dick Van Dyke. Van Dyke made his television acting debut on The Dick Van Dyke Show with several guest appearances as Rob Petrie's brother Stacy. While his infrequent starring roles were typically in poorly received sitcoms, My Mother the Car, one of the shows where he was the lead actor, is considered one of the worst sitcoms of all time. He enjoyed a long and successful career as a character actor in supporting and guest roles. From 1989 to 1997, he portrayed Luther Van Damme in TV's Coach. Van Dyke was born in Danville, Illinois, on July 27, 1931, to Hazel Victoria, a stenographer, and Lauren Wayne Van Dyke, a salesman. He was of Dutch, English, and Scottish descent. His mother was a Mayflower descendant. Van Dyke pursued his stand-up comedy career while still in Danville High School and was already a veteran of strip joints and nightclubs when he joined the United States Air Force Tops in Blue in 1954 and 1955. During the mid-1950s, Van Dyke worked at WTHI-TV in Terre Haute, Indiana. The Jerry Van Dyke Show, which included future CBS News early show news anchor Joseph Benty, Nancy South, and Ben Falber, was popular fare. In the service, he performed at military bases around the world, twice winning the All Air Force Talent Show. Following his first guest appearance on The Dick Van Dyke Show and two others on CBS's The Ed Sullivan Show, CBS made him a regular on The Judy Garland Show. He was also given hosting chores on the 1963 game show Picture This. In that same year, movie audiences saw him in supporting roles in McClintock, Palm Springs Weekend, and The Courtship of Eddie's Father. In 1963, Van Dyke was cast on an episode of G.E. True, hosted by Jack Webb. When the Judy Garland show was unsuccessfully revamped, Van Dyke left the program. He turned down the offer to play Gilligan on Gilligan's Island, a role which instead went to Bob Denver. He rejected as well an offer to replace Don Knotts as Sheriff Andy's deputy on The Andy Griffith Show. Van Dyke finally accepted the lead role of attorney David Crabtree in My Mother the Car in 1965, The Misadventures of a Man Whose Deceased Mother Gladys, voiced by Anne Southern, is reincarnated as a restored antique car. Though the series was a commercial failure, Van Dyke continued to work steadily in supporting television and film roles through the rest of the decade. He starred in another short-lived situation comedy, Accidental Family, in 1967, as widowed comedian Jerry Webster, who buys a farm to raise his son while he is not away on professional tours. You're listening to the Celebrity Archaeology Podcast. Visit us at CelebrityArchaeology.com and learn about the lives of your favorite stars. He was also featured in Love and Kisses in 1965 and as Andy Griffith's co-star in Angel in My Pocket 
in 1969. During the 1970s, Van Dyke returned to stand-up comedy. He spent much of the decade touring Playboy clubs around the country in Las Vegas and Reno, Nevada, Summerfest in Milwaukee, and Atlantic City, New Jersey. He returned to television for guest appearances on Love American Style and Fantasy Island. In 1973, he portrayed Wes Callison, news writer, on the season four episode of Son of But Seriously, Folks, on the Mary Tyler Moore Show. He also had roles in The Amazing Cosmic Awareness of Duffy Moon in 1976 and 13 Queens Boulevard in 1979. Also in 1989, he appeared as a panelist in the pilot for the revival of The Match Game, hosted by Burt Convey. But due to his brain tumor, he was later replaced by Ross Schaefer when it was turned into a series in 1990. In 1988, he made a guest appearance on Scott Bayo's sitcom Charles in Charge as Jamie Powell's health teacher, Mr. Merkin. In 1989, Van Dyke began portraying beloved yet befuddled assistant coach Luther Van Dam on the long-running series Coach. For this role, he received four consecutive Emmy Award nominations, 1990 through 1993, for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series. In his final television role in April 2015, he reprised his role as Frankie's father on The Middle, along with real-life brother Dick Van Dyke playing his character's brother. Van Dyke was married twice and had three children with first wife Carol, daughters Jerry Lynn and Kelly Jean, and son Ronald. Kelly Jean Van Dyke committed suicide in 1991 following struggles with substance abuse. Jerry and wife Shirley resided together on their 800-acre ranch near Hot Springs, Arkansas. Van Dyke was an avid poker player and announced a number of poker tournaments for ESPN in the late 90s and early 2000s. He was also a four-string banjo player with several performances on The Dick Van Dyke Show to his credit. On January 5, 2018, Van Dyke died at his Arkansas ranch of heart failure at the age of 86. He was in declining health since being involved in a car accident two years earlier. Thanks for joining us today on the Celebrity Archaeology Podcast, brought to you by CelebrityArchaeology.com. I hope you have found the content we've shared memorable and enjoyable. Be sure to visit CelebrityArchaeology.com to see many of our photos and pick up the link to access our podcast to listen to more stories of your favorite stars. Head over to iTunes to subscribe and keep up to date on the latest episode. You can rate and leave a review and tell your friends about the podcast. Join us next time for the Celebrity Archaeology Podcast and learn about the lives of your favorite stars.